during the year, and the United States promptly announced them. The first and most spectacular of these was Vanguard at the end of 1957. There were other Vanguard failures, all achieved takeoff, but trouble occurred either in the second or third stages. Explorers 2 and 5, Beacon, and Pioneer 2 were also considered unsuccessful experiments. Ten. Nine, eight, eight, seven, six, 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 five, four, three, three, engine start coming. One, go inertial. The possibility that trouble may develop with the Atlas or the Redstone during the countdown or during the takeoff is looked squarely in the eye by the astronauts and the engineers behind Project Mercury. This booster was not a Mercury vehicle. But imagine the worst possible situation for the astronaut, that his capsule is now mounted on top of this atlas. The escape rocket takes the capsule away from the booster.
successfully, and the flight proceeded according to plan for some distance. During this time, the missile was stable in pitch, yaw, and roll. Then a failure occurred involving one engine. And shortly thereafter, another engine also lost power. It was therefore necessary for the range safety officer to destroy the missile by remote control. from the missile fell on the test base and in the sea just offshore from the base. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have ignition and liftoff of America's silent hero, the Air Force Titan IV. This is the final Titan IV to be flown. The vehicle has rolled to the proper flight azimuth. We're at T plus 18, 19, 20 seconds. Currently, the twin solid rocket motors are performing nominally. T plus 40 seconds. Oh no. Décollage. Les paramètres propulsifs sont normaux et la trajectoire est normale. 37 seconds into the launch, the onboard computers decided 501 was 90 degrees off course. T plus one minute, altitude. Speed 290 meters per second, downrange distance 1.1 kilometers. Vehicle supersonic. Recovery drone ship has AOS. Vehicles reach maximum aerodynamic pressure. Stage one propulsion is still nominal. Power and closure remain nominal. Impact chill has begun. T plus two minutes. Altitude 32 kilometers. Speed one kilometer per second. Downrange distance 13 kilometers. Eddie coming back, shows vehicle on course, on track. She must 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. And lift off, lift off of Delta 178 and the GOES G satellite. Nine, ten.
Data looks very good, reported by Skip Mackey. We're now going through the Max Q region. The six solid strap one boosters will continue to burn until T plus 60 seconds. At that time, the vehicle will be traveling at a velocity of almost 1,400 miles per hour. And we have burnout out of six solid rocket motors. The next three have ignited, and the first three have been jettisoned. Oh, first six solids have been jettisoned. We have a main engine shutdown. premature main engine shutdown.